was taken several years after. Wait, I, I'm going to respond to you. Just 600 years after. Bear with me. Bear with me. Biblical, yes. Bear with me. Hold There's on. A lot of what's right. In the word Nahnu in Arabic can, it doesn't necessitate that it means more than one because Allah in the Quran specifically tells us that Allah is one. Allah says, ilahukum ilahum wahid, that Allah is one. Also in the Quran, Allah says, Kul hu Allahu ahad. Say Allah is one. Allahu samad. God, the everlasting. Lam yalid. He begets not. Walam yulad. Neither was he begotten. Walam yakun lahu kufwan ahad. And equal to him is no one. So we believe that God has no parallels. He has no equals. He has no associates. Right? God Almighty stands by himself. Now, one of the, the biggest sins that a Muslim can commit is something called shirk. Right? Shirk in Arabic means to associate partners with the Creator. Right? In the Quran, I'm, I'm going to recite them in Arabic and I'll translate it. And I'm going to get back to the whole miracle yeah, thing because, because we were talking about that. Yeah. I'm, but I just, because you raised, um, uh, because you raised the point about the God, about. I want to, I, I'm, hold on, bear with me. Okay. Right. In the Quran, Allah says, Inna Allah, la Allah does not forgive. Right? The Creator does not forgive. In the law, in your Quran, that okay. In the Quran, in Allah the says, Quran, yeah. In Allah, halayak firu, Allah does not forgive. And you should be that you associate partners with me. But God forgives any other sin other than that, right? So, yeah. so basically, God does not forgive any other sin. So if you associate partners, if you associate partnerships with the Creator, meaning if you associate Ram, you um, associate Jesus with the Creator, these are the sins that God does not forgive. If you repent before death, then... Even according to the Bible, no. according to the Bible, sure, I can. I'm gonna. No, no, no. Sorry, carry on. Though. No, no, I, I will, I will. But we're gonna get to the voice yeah. where the miracle comes, and then we can touch upon that later, okay. if you wish, right? So, you haven't told me what is the miracle. I am, I am, I'm getting that. that Muhammad getting that. has performed. Right. I can tell you the miracles of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Okay. First of all, his birth. Sorry, I just want to respond to the point you mentioned. Yeah. Right, about the miracles, right, of yes. the Quran. And I and I and I pointed out to you that Allah in the Quran says that we have created the heavens and the earth and surely we are expanding the universe. Now, this information about the universe expanding was only known in 1952, right? Even if we look at science itself, according to the Russian physicist Alexander Friedman and the Belgian cosmologist George Lemaitre, they both theoretically calculated that the universe was in constant motion. This information was only known in 1952 about the expansion of the universe. And this was mentioned 1,400 years ago. Also, in 1952, Edwin Hubble, the I don't, have you heard of Edwin oh, Hubble? Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. In 1952, Edwin oh, Hubble, the American dead. astronomer, <laughs> He realized that the constellations and the celestial bodies were constantly moving away from each other, right? That's a clear, in, a clear indication that the universe is an expanding universe. But that is right? not a miracle that Mohammed performed. No, no, no. You're telling no, no. Me Remember what I said? No, I, I hear you what you've said. No, so I, I mentioned in the beginning of the Anna, conversation that, that the, the book... No, no you, there's something that you're misunderstanding okay, here, which is, right? Which is. I'm saying to you that we believe that the book itself is a miracle from God. Have if you had had you taken care to actually read the content of the book, then you would understand that this is a miracle how from is God. That a miracle. The Bible, we don't say it's a miracle from God. That is not a definition of a miracle. No, no, no. Because the Bible yeah. is an inspired word coming directly from God, inspired men to write. When we define the word miracle, it's something out of the ordinary, out of nature, natural. So that's yeah. why I want you to, first of all, I'm saying to you, when Christ came, I'm trying to compare Muhammad with Christ. Just that, I think you're totally missing the point I'm raising. But how am I raising, uh, the, the, raising the point? You're, okay, the no, point no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying so to explain. Far. I know. I'm trying to explain to you that that nothing. information wasn't known at the time. So the, to the miracle lies... I'm trying to make you understand the process here. The miracle lies in the information wasn't known. The information so, was only known in the 19th century. So now, so if you're the prophet... you calling that a miracle, but there are knowledge 
that has now come to light yes. that's not called miracle is just expansion of knowledge the knowledge what? no 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 the knowledge you're saying to me came in 1950 90 something it may have come through let's say you're trying to say Muhammad okay right. in which he put there are other knowledge that has come after Muhammad such as through scientific knowledge through experimentation no. through hang on yeah. through the studying of the orbit that is not a miracle that is the expansion of knowledge as the bible says knowledge shall increase no, it's just when think, we're saying yeah. when we're saying something of a miracle let's be very clear of this i'm talking about a human being as muhammad as jesus christ okay when they were both recorded on earth how many blind eyes was restored how many leprosy was healed how many thousands of bread was converted so that hundreds can eat that is what i'm to, and also when he was in the sea okay and his disciples was fishing that's what I'm Madame, talking I about. I think you. I, so I, I heard you. I, I heard what you said. But I think, sister, I, I heard what you said. But I think you I'm need. I think you need to and engage. Then not, sorry, sorry. I'm going to finish. Definitely with this. Okay, go. And the knowledge of the Muhammad who says the sperm of a woman, the sperm of a man. Now, obviously, to a human being hearing this, will know that Muhammad wasn't educated. Right. Because so the sperm one, of what? Be specific, the, what does it the, say? In the Quran, I'm sorry, when I come back here again next and week. Back, yeah, that's, that's where right. You go. That's where I want to go. Thank you. Now, sperm doesn't come from a backbone of a human being. Okay. Biologically, it will be proven that it's not true. Biologically, it's proven you women don't produce sperm. Where does it say that in the Quran? Oh, that the, that the, I will that say the female. To you, I will say to you. Okay. So Next give me, I okay, come. so give me, uh, right, just because there's a, there's a child. Oh, yeah. No, 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 it's fine. Right, okay. So what I want you to do, give me the anatomical, okay, because now, no, hold on one second, because now we've kind of shifted from the conversation. I want you to bring you back to the, um, the, the, the universe expanding, because I feel you failed to comprehend how this verse is actually a miracle. But what I want yeah. you to do is that give me... <laughs> Give me right before we get on to that particular verse, right? I'm I'm trying to address a specific point which I think you failed to realize is that is that when the Quran speaks about the universe expanding, the inf this information wasn't known in the seventh century, and it's not just that verse. There are multiple verses, for example, that speaks about embryology. For example, right in the Quran, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that He's created man in three distinct stages right now we know through science right right is that according to professor stage? keith l moore no, don't oh, no, no hold on no yet. no hold on don't one second no yet. one second i think no one second you in in his book the principles of zoology right by professor keith l moore he mentions that there are three stages the first stage is pre-embryonic right the second stage is embryonic and the third stage is fetal, right? Professor Keith L. Moore mentioned in his book, The Principles of Zoology, page 25, right? Now, my question is this, how did the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, know that there were three distinct stages of the human embryonic development in the mother's fetus? How did the Prophet Muhammad know this information? Because you can either call it a fluke, or this is no hold on Show no uh, hold Quran. on one second hold on I, 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 I haven't finished where he says Muhammad said we'll come back again next week Sunday I don't mind no no hold on one second I, I, I haven't finished though no 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 but I, whenever I quote my sister will back me up that I always came from the scriptures yeah I don't want to have any statement without that I will come back yeah okay so right so my question is to you is this right and i want you to research this yourself right? I am. yes he, professor keith elmore yeah professor keith elmore mentions this in his 
the, it's, it's called the Principles of Zoology, right? What's his name? P Professor Keith L. Moore, right. right? He mentions in his book the Principles of Zoology, page twenty-five. Also, also, right? You mentioned about you know sperm coming from emitting from, right? What, what's the verse? It's uh, from Sototari. Sototari, right? Do you, do you know the yeah, specific yeah, yeah, verse? Yeah, okay, let's bring the verse up. Let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. And we're gonna we're gonna look at the anatomical structure, right? We're gonna look at the anatomical structure, and then we're gonna see whether whether what you're saying is wrong. Sorry, I can't. Okay. It doesn't say bring it up. It I just fluid. I just gave it to you so we can just jump to it. Yeah. Okay. Let's. You beating around the bush. Right. Thank you. But but two, it doesn't say sperm. Right. It doesn't say sperm. It says it says fluid. Yeah. Discharge, not yeah. sperm. But, but, okay, but, but, but I don't want to be discharged. Discharge. What's in a discharge? Do I need to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need to smell out. You know what I mean. Exactly. So that's yeah. why I said then S P R N. Yeah, but Auntie, what M. I'm saying, what yeah. I'm saying, because you actually jumped towards that, because we weren't on finish with the no. miracle. I know, I know. But, but, but to be honest. Amza is being very technical and you're not getting it, so I'm going to lay on it for you. The miracle in what he was saying yes. about that knowledge is how did the prophet have that knowledge yes. at that time? Exactly. Yeah. Right. But, but you're not getting it because Hamza is too okay. nice. Uh, can I can I can no. I have a piece of a question regarding that point? Like what does miracle? What is the point? Yeah. Sorry, for the fact that yeah, that's right. Jesus no, performed the miracle and Muhammad did. The conversation was I'm trying to compare. They say Muhammad is the last prophet, the, the highest prophet than Jesus. So I'm saying, no, let's look at the highest representation. Okay. Okay. The okay. It's the last, it's the last, it's the last yeah. prophet. Yes. Yeah, it's the last. The final. Okay, the final prophet. I then look at the characteristic of Muhammad, his life. I look at the. I, uh, hold that's on one no, second. Hold on. What? Hold on. I, d I just want to raise. Sorry. I just want to raise okay, the last. Well, no, 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 what miracle because does I think do with uh, not being a prophet or something? Okay. The reason I say that is because if you look at the life of Jesus Christ, look at the life of the, your prophet, it's a totally different characteristic. Well, I haven't seen Jesus. Why should I believe? Sorry. So I haven't seen Muhammad. Him. Exactly. Why should huh? I believe? So but it's yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not going to neutralize it. No, why should I believe? Even the miracle of Jesus. Why? The miracle of Jesus Christ, I can come back next week and document it to you. First of no, all, what kind of miracle are you asking? Are you asking for observation? What it would could you be observational. But you haven't observed Jesus. You have no, 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 no. But after what the is the point? You, you know, my, my question what it is that very that simple. Let me exactly. let me let me point. Point. Look, the Prophet yeah, Muhammad, peace upon him, made many miracles. For example, the moon. When you pointed the finger, did you know about that? The Prophet Muhammad, wait, sorry, now I'm giving you the evidence. The Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him, moon has never been split. If you go to where there is an Indian king at the time of the Prophet, yes. Wait, wait, are you now just No, I'm saying about scientific evidence. Just scientific evidence. Now I'm just. I've never mentioned that scientific evidence. I'm now giving you miracles. The Prophet, the Prophet, for example, the Prophet, the Prophet, the Prophet, between his fingers, there was water flowing. Yes, yeah, for the people. That's a miracle. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon me, he, when he pointed the Let me write all this down because I am going to study split. it. If she the splitting of the moon. However, what Brother Hamza is saying is, these are the miracles that we cannot she just today. Be because at the time, because only it was only for, she for his people to be convinced that he is a prophet of God. However, the greatest miracle that Brother Hamza is trying to bring is the Quran. Why? First of all, the Quran has been preserved. In its original language, unlike the Bible. Secondly, secondly, you don't have the Aramaic. That was that's the version. False. Nice that's not false. Prove Secondly, it. the Quran, Prove if you if you were to prove it, made a statement, sister, now I'm going to make a statement, and the number two, and the number two, you've made a statement before where you say, uh, oh God, it's in my head, I hate you know, that. You know, miracle is not a test of faith. You said something about, I'll address your other point. Jesus even said, I'll address your point. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you, there were waters flowing between his fingers. I'm going to study that. Yeah, you study that. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon you, Prove that point to the finger exactly. So you have to prove to me. Can I prove that? Can I prove that? No, 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 no. I can prove to you that the same. I can tell you. I can prove it. I can prove it. The same spirit that led Christ to perform those miracles still happens today. You can't. No, 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 no. I can give you the. We're coming back here next week. Hold on, hold on. Hang on, sister. No, no, no. Wait, sorry, sorry. It's the same spirit. It's the same spirit that. Jesus Christ gave to his disciples to say, 
you are going to do greater works. My sister, than, uh, my sister. Can I just finish okay, that? Okay, no no You're saying to prove it. It's the same thing. It says greater works shall you do because I've gone to the Father. That is one of the proof that the followers of the Lord Jesus Christ uh -huh. can show you okay. that it's a miracle that he performed. Okay. Next one. Okay. So, sister, I'll, let me come, on, sorry, let me come back to... Did you want to go? I, I wanted to... Back to your okay, just so, what's the, the prophet, you, you mentioned about miracles. The prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, not only did he, you know, perform miracle by the waters flowing through his fingers, not only did the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, split the moon by his finger, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, made... Yes, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, made many prophecies that you're living right now. The prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said that uh, one of the signs of the hour is when the barefooted Arab bedrooms will compete each other in construct control buildings at the how time is that a miracle? i'll tell you why it's a miracle i'll tell you why that's a miracle the how miracle that? That, oh wait hang on, hang on. before how you even that? no no before you question it before you question it you have to let me make my point then you can question sorry. it yeah Go on. thank you sister. I don't know how that, thank sister. let's define what miracle sorry, is. sorry sorry a miracle is anything that's beyond the human capacity yeah In terms so, so it comes from divine revelation okay so you know from your natural inclination you know that god is all knowing correct Totally. Totally, right. So human yeah, beings, exactly. So human beings doesn't know everything. So every prophet, they were given some sort of prophecy. Why? To prove that the knowledge of the future, they're not, they're not receiving from knowledge, they're receiving knowledge from Almighty God, correct? Yeah, that's a sign of, uh, that's a sign of a prophethood. That the, the knowledge that he is sharing to the people, what's going to happen in future events, is a proof of his prophethood. Okay, the prophet Muhammad, peace for me, he said, that one of the signs of the hour is a time will come when barefooted Arab bedrooms will, will, com will, um, will compete each other in constructing two buildings. The Prophet Muhammad two buildings. Two buildings. They construct skyscrapers. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Sorry, my sister, you have to let me complete. Building. No, no, no. You no, see, sister, you have to let me complete my I point. know. I do apologize. No, no. I am sorry. Sister, but where I'm finding the problem here is this. What's the problem? The problem is the Tower of Babel was being constructed where they were trying to reach yeah. God and God could use their language. If you're saying to me that is a miracle, then I'm sorry. Can I ask it, you a question? It, it's sort of, sorry, sorry, and I'm going to... But you've interjected me. No, I'm sorry, because it sounds ludicrous that that could be a miracle whereby before Muhammad came, there was a Tower of Babel which reached to the Tower of Heavens. The point is, the sister, point is, sister, sister, the point is that is not no, 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 no. a prophecy no, no. I, that I, has I, happened I, already I, before. Auntie, I think you are missing. The I'm prophecy. not missing no you point. Are, auntie, auntie. I can. Come, that is I mean, not okay. a prophecy. Sister, no, 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 no. Hold on, sister. I, I, okay, okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. No, no. What it is? Maybe, maybe there's something that you're. Maybe there's something that you're not understanding. I'm going to clarify something to you, right? The Bible gives. What the falsific the Bible says, right, in Deuteronomy 18, right? Because obviously we're trying to explain. No, hold on, please, you please, you really just hear me out, right? Right. So obviously we're trying to explain to you the miracles of the Quran, and you don't understand like how the Quran can be. Well, obviously we're giving you examples of how the Prophet Muhammad would have known this information, how this knowledge was, how did he acquire this knowledge, right? So the Bible says, and I'm gonna, actually the Bible actually will help you in this regard. It says here. And if you say in your heart, how, how may we know the word of the Lord has not spoken, right? It says here, when a prophet, so this one I will directly answer your query. When a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord, if the word does not come to pass, it's a liar, it's right? Nice. Listen, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If the Lord, right. If the word does not come to pass or come true, yeah. So the examples I was giving you, hold on, let me finish it, and then this will this will actually make sense to you, no, right? It really make sense. To oh, that. yeah, really good, fun. good. I'm gonna read it some more, right? If the word does not come to pass or come true, that is the word that the Lord has not spoken, yeah. right? The prophet has spoken presumptuously. Yes. You need not to be afraid of him. So That's now, right. now right. let's get back. So now, have hold on so one second. Reading uh, that, what was, one second. Hang, hang, no, you read me my Bible. No, but I'm, I, I haven't. Me, if you read me, I, my I haven't Bible. finished what I was saying. Okay, sister, we let you spoken. You have to I let know. You, you no, got to let me complete. You read, you know, you read the scripture. On. Yes. From my Bible. I did. Yes. What is that meant to prove? Right. I'll tell you now. Right. Yeah. So now. The prophecy is very specific. It says, if the word, 
Meaning, I've read that, that scripture, that specific scripture. It says that if what the word of the Lord says, right, doesn't come to pass. So if the prophet speaks of something, if he says something and it doesn't come to pass, you shall not fear him, right? So now, if we go back to the Quran, I gave you a few examples, right? For example, the universe expanded. My brother here gave you a, a few examples, right? Now, if the Quran is not the word of God, then surely all these miracles that Muslims claim that's in the scriptures shall not come to pass. It shall not happen because it's the, it's the word of a false prophet. However, I'm giving you some examples. I've given you some examples about the three stages, for example, you know, pre-embryonic, embryonic and fetal, which is mentioned in Keith Elmore's book. The question is, how did it... No, Professor Keith Elmore, how did the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, know this information? That's the question that you need to resolve, right? How did the Prophet Muhammad know this information when that information of biology and anatomical knowledge was not known to him? If we look at the first microscope, the first microscope was the Lewis, the Lewis Sicky microscope. That was the first microscope that was invented in the 19th century. So my question is, how is it possible that without a microscope, how is it possible to to know anatomically that the that the that the fetal the fetus has free embryological development in a mother's womb that's the first question now the second part i would like to raise with you is obviously that i spoke about the universe expanding and i've given you scientific data to demonstrate the truthfulness of the quran as your bible claims if it's not from the word of god if the prophet says something and it doesn't happen then it's not the word of god we know that this that the Quran makes this claim that the universe is expanding. So this, according to you, should be false information. Hold on. This when information. You the universe. Sorry, I just want to clarify. Right. Okay. The universe is expanding. Yeah. In what way are you saying the universe is ex according to Muhammad? No. According. Okay. First according of all, to Muhammad, we believe. We believe without the scientific data, the truthfulness of the Quran. That's the first point I'd like to establish with you. No, no, I'm asking you a question. I, I, I am responding. Madam, I am responding. about it the long way around. Madam. How is, according to Muhammad, right. the world is expanding? We have a global, yes? A global world. Right. Yes. I've explained to you. How? Okay. I've explained to you earlier, right? According to... Russian physicist Alexander Friedman. And you, you maybe what you should do, you should take notes of these Listen, names. I am. Okay, good. I'm coming back here. Good. Next I, 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 I pray that you we do. We are going to right. address according, all this. According issues. to the Russian physicist Alexander Friedman, right? He's a an, a world renowned astrophysicist, right? And the Belgian cosmologist George Lemaitre, right? Well known, a man of knowledge, a man who knows his, his particular expertise of field, right? They conclude, they conclude that the universe is expanding. And also this was confirmed, this was confirmed in the 19th century that the universe is expanding by who? The, um, uh, Edwin Hubble, the American astronomer in 1952. This knowledge was not previously known at the time of Prophet Muhammad when he lived in 632 right this is the point i'm raising now if we go back to deuteronomy chapter 18 the reason why i meant I the reason why i mentioned that verse because your bible gives the falsification test it gives you a criteria the criteria is if the prophet says something that's not from god then it shall not come to pass what hold on come back i did give you time to talk okay i did give you time to talk now i've read deuteronomy right and I understand what you're saying with Deuteronomy. Okay. The context in which Deuteronomy was written, okay, in the prophecy of what God said, okay, in terms of God's instruction according to Deuteronomy, not according to the Quran. He says, if a prophet says, I have said this, please, that's what I'm saying, it is misquoted by I him. never misquoted anything. Should I read it for if you? A no, no, no. If no, I read it to you. Yeah, read it no, again. I, read it you. So, I didn't misquote anything. Did. I quoted no. it word He's for right. word. Right, but in the right. context in which Deuteronomy was written, right. that God said, if, a prophet, if you want to prove a prophet is wrong, right. is that if they're saying something I haven't said, this is God telling them, 
they're a liar. Exactly. And no, that's my point. No, no, that's no, my that's point. We believe that Muhammad was inspired by you God. read my Bible and I'm telling you what it says. So, so shall I read it? Me, you've read it, I know it. No, but I, no, because I it, you're, it, you're, you're accusing brother. me of taking it out of context. It is out of context. Right, so what I'm going to do is read it and I'm going to put it into context and therefore exactly. it will make sense. Fair? I think it's only fair because if you're accusing it's me of no, I'm taking not it out of context. accusing you. But you I'm said I've taken it out of context. Yeah, you're, no, 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 I'm saying what you've read is totally right. not supporting the fact that a prophet who says that the moon was split into two. That is what the context no, 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 is no, no. saying. No, this is the reason why. This is the reason. This is the reason why, sister. Prophecy. This is the reason why I'm going to read it to you. Right now. Would you I'm, I'm not talking about that's miracles. One of the criteria. That's one I of the criteria. I wasn't talking about miracles either. I'm no, talking but you about asked for miracles. So I give you miracles. See, we're, we're conflicting. Now you don't now. like it. Right. No, 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 no. It's not that I don't like it. No, 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 no. It's not that I don't. I can hold an argument. I can hold a discussion. Okay. Because my discussion is not directed at an individual. It's at the point they're making. Okay, so, so let okay. So what what I'll do? What I'll do? I will read out for you, right? Because again, with all due okay, respect to you, yeah, sister, I don't want to I don't want to be accused of something that I'm not doing. Okay, read it right. Okay. So if, we'll start from eighteen eighteen. It said, it says I will start raise from up sixteen because it's very important to give the context. Okay, yeah. let's start from sixteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as the just as you desired of the Lord your God right. at Horeb on yeah. the day of the assembly right. when you said. Let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God or see the great fire and more lest I die. Right? 17. Right. And the Lord said to me, Who's there, me then? Moses, isn't it? Who, who's uh, uh, the me then? Hold on one second. Bear, no, bear just, with me. Yeah, yeah, bear, bear, bear with me. I just want to. Yeah. And the Lord said to me, yeah. They are right in what they have spoken. I will raise up. From, I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brothers right and i will put my word in his mouth and he shall speak to them all that i can all that i command him and whoever will not listen to my words that he shall speak in my name i will require it of him but the can prophet I just stop there? Uh, hold can on I just one stop second there? no no no, no, no. Speak in whose name hold on hold on no no hold sorry, on because the, if name. i know yeah, yeah of course context, in the name of god no 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 because that is going to be missed if you miss that, I haven't missed anything. I'm reading in it to you. my name. In my name, if you prophesy something in my name, right? Yes. Yeah. That's where it becomes false. And the God of Jacob, the God of Isaac, and the God of uh, uh, Abraham yeah. was saying, "This is me." I'm speaking, right. this is what I'm speaking. If he then speaks anything against his word, yeah. then that means it's a false prophet. I agree because with you. in the beginning, I'm not disputing in Genesis, this, I know, in Genesis, so, we were disputing. very you're clear. I'm not, no, 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 I'm not saying you're disputing. You haven't been able to complete the next verse. No, the, I just said, I just wanted, yeah, I just wanted to clarify that verse. No, I, I, yeah, I, accept, I accept what you're saying. Okay. So far, what you, you said, well, I, I haven't disagreed with anything okay. you said. Okay. So what I'm saying is that Oh, okay, you lost me now. No. And it says, uh, yeah, verse 19. Verse 19, yeah, verse 19. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name that I have not commanded him to speak, right. or who speak in the name of other gods, the same shall, the same prophet shall die. Now, my question is this: Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was evangelizing and prophesizing for 23 years, right? 23 years. Now, according to this verse, God would have killed him, right? Because the verse says here, right? Yeah, God, according to the verse, it says here, who speaks in the name of other gods, that same prophet shall die. The same prophet shall die. So, Prophet Muhammad, prof oh no, hold on one second. Prophet Muhammad was able to successfully unify the whole of the Arabian Correct. Peninsula, right? That the whole of the Arabian Peninsula, yeah, and God did not punish or oh, wait, wait, hold on one second. God did not punish, neither did God kill him as a result of that, right? In fact, he was he was able to live and complete his mission, right? Successfully complete his mission, unlike Jesus, That's who was crucified question. and who died, right? No, no, no. Unlike Hang on a minute. He fulfilled his purpose. You can't say he could not. To me, he could not have. 
Hang on. Because Jesus I said, I have many questions. things to say. If Jesus, could, okay, if Jesus Don't hadn't. Quote that. Can I just, can I just. Rebut, just let me make a point. Okay. Can I just rebut what you just said. Okay, go ahead. About my Lord Jesus Christ. That he didn't, he came and he didn't fulfill it. He died. That's totally wrong. Okay, how? He did fulfill what he came to do. What he came to do, the same John said, behold, the Lamb of God, which came to take away the sin of the world. Right. That was his purpose, that he didn't fail. Okay, Jesus said, so I rebuffed Jesus, that straight away. Okay, well then my response to you is this, right? Jesus says, I have many things to say unto you. I cannot However, say However, no, hold on one second. That doesn't, that doesn't demonstrate a, a, a mission that's complete. For example, if I said to you, hold on that's one second. That's the wrong context. Oh, hold on. Let, you let, let, are very good right. at taking a context, a, a, a scripture, I'm putting it out Sister, of context. Sister, allow me to Sorry. allow me to complete what I'm saying, That's wrong. and then you can you can respond to what I'm saying. But right. I know this you're going to put okay, good. So let's engage with the let's engage yeah. with the text. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Jesus said, "I have many things to say unto you. However, you cannot bear them now." Why? Right. So my question is. Why? Hold on one second. My question is this, right? If you Stick had the, if you, I uh, wait. You're sticking to uh, that yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Go I'm still here. That's it. I haven't gone. I'm lovely. I'm here till the Simpsons come on. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going anywhere. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going anywhere. Right? So stick to that scripture. I am right. So what I'm saying to you, right? Jesus said, I have many things to say unto you, right. but you cannot bear them now. No. Right. So my question is this to you, my sister. If if Jesus' message is completed, yes. right? If you have a complete message, then you would you would not have anything else to say. Can I ask right? that question? Hold now? on, one, okay. hold on one, one second, right? Okay. Now, the Greek word used here is cross uh, um, uh, uh, parakletos. That's right. Jesus said, I have many things to say unto you, but you yes, cannot bear them now. However, when the spirit of truth comes, now if we go back to the Greek lexicon, the Greek text, it uses the word parakletos. Parakletos means an advocator. Someone it is actually talking about a human being to come into the world. It doesn't use the term, it doesn't use the term. I know in most of our translations, we, it uses the word Holy Spirit. However, that's an incorrect interpretation because if we go back to the Greek, because yeah. remember, John wrote his gospel in what language? No, no, no. Carry Greek. on. Right. No, no, no. The Holy Carry Spirit on. was there at the time of Elizabeth. Exactly. No, 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 no. Exactly. No, but he was. Excuse me. Can I respond now, please? Because I'm going to forget you. Your okay, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Like, okay, that passage you just said. Yeah. Who was he addressing? His disciples. He was, okay, yeah. He was addressing his disciples. Now, Muslims have said, there you are. Here's a scripture that says he hadn't completed his mission. But the context of Christ telling the, 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 the disciples, that 12 disciples and many more, but the 12 disciples, is that you can't comprehend it now because he had already said to them, the advocate, which is the Holy Spirit, which he gave unto them on the day of Pentecost, yeah. okay, which will open their eyes, which will empower them, is the one he was saying that will enlighten you the power of the Holy Spirit, yeah. the power of the Word that will now enable you. So within that context, please, Muslims, take it away from, take it away from, this is the thing that Christ hasn't completed his mission. It's so untrue. Yeah. It's a wrong context. Because if you read them, the Acts, Acts chapter 2, yeah. verse, uh, Acts chapter 2, verse 38, yeah. when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, yeah. they first start, the state they started off as the disciples, their end point was totally different after they received the power of the Holy Spirit. Whereby the, the, the rulers on that day said to them, we don't want you preaching in this name anymore. Yeah. We don't want you to demonstrate in this thing. They said, no, yeah. we have been given an authority and a message to do. Yeah. So that context, my brother, rightfully quoted yeah. will fall in the context of the fact that Jesus was talking to the disciples he had just called. Yeah. You won't understand everything now. Okay. But after I have descended, giving you the power of the Holy Spirit, which us Christians are depending on every day, which we can't do without, yeah. uh, uh, embodies us, enlightens us, gives us discretion, guide us. That is what he was saying. Not because he didn't finish his mission. His mission, when he came, was very clear. Yeah. I've come 
here is the Lamb of God, come to take away the, uh, the sins of the world. He then resurrected, defeated the power of Satan. Okay, so. And then he went and says, there you are saying, you no longer have the keys to death and of hell. Okay, so my question is this, right? So the, the, the spirit of God, right? Yeah, the, 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 verse, the, verse, the verse says, I shall, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. No. However, hold on one second. When the spirit of truth comes, there you go. he will guide you into all truth. This That's is what the verse says. That's right. Thank but my you. question is this, right? Go on then. If the Holy Spirit was, if G he says, I shall say many things, right? Unto you. Unto you, yeah. but you can't bear them now. However, Not when the spirit... Now. When it says oh, now, oh, hold on, it means they will understand it later. Hold on one second, sister. I understand okay, that. Okay, I understand okay, that. Okay, fair enough. Right? Sorry. But he said the Apologies. spirit will come. But yeah, the, remember, the remember, gonna, remember the spirit. The rest of but he the the many things he wanted to say. Yes. Yes. say. Yeah. Yes. But the, the, but the, the spirit of truth will come. Yes. He is oh. the one who will guide them into all truth. Yeah, okay. Let, all men have to let more than one. Hold, yeah. hold on. Yes. Many. Yes. Mean more than one. Hold many on. things to say. Yeah, many things. Yeah, so, many, because remember, his his time was limited here. Yeah. His time was limited. Yeah. So what he wanted to teach them, mm. what he wanted them to so, what he wanted them to see, what he wanted them to know, mm. is saying that's why he says to them, I cannot say all that to you at all the time. Okay. All that time. My claim yeah. to you, no, hold on, brother, hold on one second. My my claim to you, the spirit was that. always there. Exactly. The spirit was always was there. Always there. Right. So that. if we no, hold on one second, one second. Yeah, yeah. The spirit was always there because if we go back to Genesis. No, hold on one not second. In them. No, hold on one second. Not in them. The, the reason why I'm saying not this is because them. we go back to Genesis chapter one, the right? It Lord says in the beginning around, God remember? created. Hold on one second. It says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Yes. Right. And the spirit of God was hovering along the waters. Yes. So we know that the spirit was always there. If the yes. spirit was always there, yes. then why would Jesus have to say, I'm going to send the spirit if the spirit was there already okay. there in the first place? Now, my quick, no, 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 hold on one second. No, one question. second. Hold on. The spirit no, one... was always there, but was not in them. It was guiding them, but no, it was no, not I'm in them. That. But my brother spirit. the spirit was not in them yeah. when it says the spirit was not when i said the spirit was not in them the bible would not have recollected a state in acts chapter 2 when jesus had gone tarry in the upper room that is where i'm going to endure you with the power of the holy spirit okay you're right the spirit was hovering around, right. but it was never in them. If it's never in them, they cannot accomplish the Holy Sister, Spirit. Cannot this is the reason. This is the reason why Do I understand what I mean. No, I understand, but this is the reason why I employed the Greek because the Greek will give us the true understanding and the true intended. Hold on, mm. the true intended meaning of the verse. Now, if we go to First John Greek next week uh, on Sunday, right? The, I'm going to bring you to the attention of First John, right? chapter 4 verse 1 it says and we what we see here is that the spirit and prophet are synonymous right. right it says here dear friends do not believe every spirit right but test the spirit to see whether yeah. they are of from god that's right right because many false prophets yeah, yeah, yeah. right yeah. have gone yeah. out into the world yeah. now What's the question the is this i'll tell you what the point is if jesus is the last prophet right as you believe in your faith Right, and he's there was no one. No, uh, uh, I know. I know you believe he's part of the triune God, right? You, you, no, no, no. He's a Messiah. So let's get it straight. He's not just. A, he's a Messiah. He's a Savior. He is the. Um, he's God. It's a Redeemer. No, I accept. I, I accept so all that. It's I accept. not just the last prophet. No problem, sister. No problem. I'm not just. Dis I'm not it's disputing not that. What I'm saying to you, right? Why would Jesus have the need? to warn his disciples right about false prophets coming to the world right if jesus was the final prophet do you understand the question if jesus was the final prophet of god right if jesus was the final prophet of god and he was the last person sent to the children of israel and the revelation stops at that point right because jesus said on the cross it is finished right when he no, said that on the cross the revelation is finished no what god i mean when finished the work again you see Whenever you're talking to the Christians, understand the context, what they mean. 
It's finished. What has finished? What has finished is I have come to accomplish what I came to do. I understand I that. I have defeated I get that. the enemy. Okay. I get that. That is what is finished. Fair enough. But well, what I'm saying to you, the word spirit and the word prophet are synonymous How words. Are they synonymous? Because it says, test the spirits if they are of God. So there are many false prophets that have entered into the world. Right. So that so the very fact that Jesus is uh, is so warning. Read uh, that again, uh, word by word. Okay, I'll read it, read it again. Yeah. No problem. It read says, it dear friends, dear friend. do not believe every spirit. What was the passage before? Oh, what no, was happening before? This, this is verse one. Lovely. Yeah, it's first verse. That is first, first John. Okay. That's fine. Madam, let me. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I'm talking to the to the point. I'm not, no problem. Yeah, right. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, yes, right. but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. How right? Because many false prophets <laughs> has gone out into the world. Now the question is, how do we test them? We go back to Deuteronomy. Right, because this is what explains how we test the prophets okay, so to see I, if I they're all. I rejected that question, but that's not what you were going to say. He gives the criteria uh, how you recognize right. false prophets. Yeah, from a, yeah, from, yeah. from the criteria. Prophet. Yeah, the criteria. You don't even need to move to. If you stick on the verse, the criteria is given. What on he this say, verse? Yeah, yeah. No. He say, beloved, test not. Um, any, okay, let's any spirit. spirit. Right, Many okay. Prophet, false has come, prophet, has come many, into this world. world. But again, the context. But, and then he said again, he didn't stop there. He said, any prophet. Yeah. So he was right when he said spirit and prophet are synonymous words. Are synonymous, synonymous words. Terms. Exactly. They are synonymous okay. terms. It's like any time. Any time yeah, spirit. Hold on, I'm going to get it. I'm getting it up. I'm it getting it up right now. It doesn't mean the Holy Spirit. Because here, spirit. Test every spirit. Okay. Yeah. When the Bible tells us, this is the interpretation of the scriptures. Test every spirit. Because God only give us the Holy Spirit. Any when God give a Christian's Holy Spirit, test it. Because the first fruit of the Holy Spirit, He gave us what it was. The nine fruits of the okay. Spirit. Okay, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. When you, if when a you prophet look at... comes and preaches that there is no other, there's other so savior. Yeah, I think we're going to answer. Very There's other story. savior. There's other Christ. That is a false. Sorry, can I can I just okay. I want to yeah, read let's can, I, can, can I can I can I no I'm yeah, gonna read I'm gonna read the rest of it. I'm gonna read the rest of it. It says Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from, from God. God. From God. For many false prophets from God have gone out into the world. By this you know the spirit of God. Correct. Every spirit yes. listen carefully that now. Confess. Right. That confess that Jesus yes, Christ, Christ has come in the flesh. Thank you. Listen. Of God. Yeah. Listen, yeah. listen, so, listen, so listen. That's listen. A true let me finish. I, I, I see your truth. excitement, but let me finish, right? Not like the other right. one, but I am excited. Right. <laughs> By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, flesh. is from God. Yeah. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus confess Jesus is not from God. Now the question is this, right? Yet. As Muslims, we prophet. believe. Hold on one second. No, is that what the final passage says? Yes, yes, yes. That is what it says. So it's spirit uh, and, and prophet. Do you agree? Now yeah. Before we move on. The word spirit prophet. prophet the word. The, the word prophet. prophet. Hold on one second. Okay. The word prophet no, and the word spirit are synonymous words. That's number one. Number two. Thing. Number two. As Muslims, we accept that Jesus is come in the flesh. We do not, we do not believe as Muslims that Jesus is God. That's the reason why we believe. But he says come from God. No, we believe Jesus that Jesus has come from God. We believe that he's from God. He is the messenger. We believe that he's the messenger of God. The yeah. highest messenger. Right. But so, any other so prophet hasn't been told Moses, you come from. Ma God. Madam, hold on one second. Uh, I uh, other prophet has not been told that they come from oh, God. Hold on one second. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to explain something to you. But from God. We believe. From we God. are more biblically compliant God. than more than the Christians, and I'll tell you why. Because Christians believe that Jesus is God. They believe that Jesus is not only flesh, but He is also divine. God. No, I hold on one second. Yeah. Christians believe that Jesus is divine and He's He's flesh. And he is God at the same time. The yes. Muslims, yes. we are the only ones to actually conform to this verse because we believe. Yeah. Uh, 
I'll tell you why. The verse says, if you do not believe that Jesus is in the flesh, you're not from God. Christians don't believe that Jesus is only flesh. They believe that he is God as well. Yeah. So, but this is not what the verse says. The verse doesn't say, Look at the context hold on one second. The verse does not say, if you believe Jesus to be God, and flesh you are of god it doesn't say that it says if you believe that jesus is the christ and he's of flesh he is from god and we believe in that so we are more compliant we are more compliant do you understand no problem no problem do you want to okay Therefore, do you understand what? Did you, do you understand the point I've raised, or you don't? The same way you quoted the no, wrong context. Okay. Which the first one I gave. How did you, I take this out of context? Not the, I, I'll tell you why. The first time you quoted the wrong context, that passage. Which which, which passage you're talking you about? Where you said that Jesus hasn't completed his work when he says, because you haven't comprehended or you haven't, and then I said, no, 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 that's the wrong context. That's the wrong uh, passage in which Muslims use to justify that Jesus didn't finish his work. But he, and then I said, but he clearly didn't, he because did Jesus finish. said. I ha okay, if I say to you, I have many things to say to you, but, but I, you cannot bear them now. Okay. That means, that means... It's the full sentence. No, hold, hold on one second. Hold statement. on one second. Yeah. If I say to you... We need to split that two If I said to you, yeah. I have many things to say to you, but, but you cannot bear you. them now. I can't... Be, okay, so I say to what a child. Did, what, listen, okay, child. Let's bring out the first. Let's bring you are now yeah, 12 child. years old. There are many things I'm saying, to, there's some things I've said to you now, but there are things I'm going to say to you, you won't be able to understand yet. Because within that mat maturation of intelligence, of brain working and growing, does not mean the parent has not completed their task. When Christ told them very clearly, you cannot understand it now. I told you why. They were just brand new disciples. He was limited here on earth. Why they were limited here on earth he says, but I will send you a spirit that will guide you, that will give you knowledge. It's it will guide you into all truth. Into Meaning, all yes, truth. Yes, the solution of all your... Hold on, I've got, I've got, the, I, I, I got the full quotation. It says, right, it says, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. Thank so you. he will not speak on his own authority. When but wherever, so oh, hold on, sorry, sister. I'm hearing from Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Have some respect, please. Hold on, hold on. No, one second. Yeah, but you're interjecting Jesus right now. Hold on. No, let's, let's... no, he's not Jesus. Uh, no, no, I'm reading the words of Jesus. I'm reading the words of Jesus, oh, right. Jesus. Wow. right. Okay. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, this is what he will speak and he will not declare sorry and he will declare to you the things that are to come right he will glorify me for he will take that is mine and declare it to you all that the father has in mind therefore i said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you right so the first question is right right it says it says here, but whatever he hears, this is what he will speak. And he will declare to you things that are to come. So tell me, tell me the first thing. I'm going to go. He's going to open it okay. for me. Yeah. Sorry. So that I can go no chop it by chopping accordingly. Sorry about that. My battery died. Sorry. Sorry. What was the reference again? John 16 verse 12. John 16 verse 12. <clears throat> Uh, by the way, just a side note, yeah. the Paracletos, even Jesus was called as a Paracletos. And you know for sure that Jesus is not the Holy Spirit. Jesus yes. was a man. That's, that's so, right. by, by Jesus, so when Jesus was announcing the coming of Paracletos, it cannot be the Holy Spirit. It, yeah. must be a human it has figure. to be a human figure. Because the Greek word another is Alos, and you have Petros. Another yes. meaning of the same kind. Petros is a different kind. That's right. Jesus does not use what Petros Paracletos. He says Alos Paracletos. Thank you. So it cannot be the Holy Spirit. Which way do we start from? Yet many ah, to say. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is a truth for, for me, for you. Let's read it from verse seven. Okay, hang on. 
chapter 6 says, These things I have spoken unto you, that you should not be offended. That you should not be offended. Verse 2. They shall put you out of the synagogue. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever kills you will think that he's doing God's service. And these things will they do unto you because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things have I told you that when the time shall come, you may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not unto you at the beginning, but because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me. None of you ask me whether thou goest. I know this is King James, but it's still okay. But because so I have said, are you reading? Verse six. Verse six of John sixteen. Yeah. 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 Okay. But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth: it is expedient for you mm -hmm. that I go away. Yes. Yeah. For if I do not go away, the Comforter, okay. which is the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, will not come unto you. But okay. if I depart, I will huh? send him. No, it doesn't. The let, Comforter. Let Okay. Yeah, can carry on. The comforter, I will bring it next week because that time is running out and I've got to go home. The comforter will come unto you. But if I depart, I cannot send him unto you. Him. Yeah. Okay? And when he's come, this is the hope this is the comforter. We yeah. call it the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. When the comforter has come, he will reprove the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not on me of righteousness because i go to my father and you see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world is judged i have many things to say to you after he said all these things yes. he then says oh, but i have more to tell you but i cannot bear them now if he says i cannot bear them now you cannot bear them now you can't sorry I, excuse People me I, I apologize. he says you already. cannot bear them now Okay, you can't bear it now. How mm -hmm. be it mm -hmm. when the spirit of truth yeah. is come, he will guide you into all truth, yes. for he shall not Muhammad speak of himself. So if I go back to verse 12, okay. which is what you're quoting to me, I am I'm gonna continue. Oh, yeah. I am gonna continue, brother. I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now doesn't mean you won't be able to bear them later because he says why you will bear them later is because when he the truth spirit of truth is come he will now guide you into that truth because my time has come into all truth, truth. Uh, sorry into all truth sorry sorry he will guide you into all truth i beg your pardon but previously he says i have to go to send this in order yeah. for it to come that's right that's right so as a result what muslim are saying that he didn't so, complete so tell me something that the holy spirit has taught you I that think jesus it's time, didn't it's teach time to reason i think, I think she is uh, right it's time to reason according to the verse because uh, he jesus announced gave a condition, another message a yeah, condition of course, that's the for that's the point. comforter to come he said if i go i will send if i go i will send him that's right if i if i don't go he, he will not come that's correct so through this verse we do know that Jesus had everything, but the people at that time were not ready to receive the message. But he said, when the spirit of truth will come, he will guide you into all truth. That's right. All truth. That's right. Meaning, many things he said. Yeah. He has to say. Remember, he said. But they cannot bear it. Not now. Many mean more than one. Because the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is what enlightens you to the things of God. The right, before, Holy we, Spirit before we started, bring the Holy Spirit, the, yes. the, the Holy condition, Spirit. the condition here, the, the Christian. No, that's not. I will show you where. But the condition. The I will show you where Jesus was called the Comforter. Do you and, think he's the Holy Spirit? Listen. One second. Let me finish. Let me finish. Well, we're going no, into yeah. Why do you I'm not interpreting. I will. I will. I will. I will let you speak. I will come. Said let, let me. Okay. He give a condition. He say, if I go, he will send him. Yes. If I don't go, he will not come. Yeah. And then he said, I have many things to say, yes. Yes. more than one thing. Of course. But the people cannot bear it the, now. Not now. But he said, when the spirit of truth will come, that's right. He will guide you into all truth. Yes. All mean as yes. well more than one. More so than here one is the condition. Sorry, more than one word. Many things. That's to say. right. That's right. 
He will guide you into all truth. So what you're saying is? What, what my point is coming, okay. is, he, you just have to reason a little bit here. Okay. He say, if I go, yeah. I will send him. If yeah. I don't go, yeah. he will not come. Right. And then he say again, I have yet many to say unto you, but yeah. you cannot bear them now. Yeah. When the spirit of truth will come, yes. so the com comforter yes. will come, yeah. he will guide you into all truth. Yes. So, and then how what, what, that what's spirit? the spirit yeah. of, if, if, it's, if it's the Holy Spirit, yeah. was the Holy Spirit there before? Because he gives a condition, he said, if I go, yeah. I will, he will not come. He, I will send him. Okay, brother. But this the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was there already. Been, the Holy Spirit is always been there. But what the I'm disciple had you, the, 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 the they didn't have the Holy Spirit. Can I show you? Can you turn to I, I, I need uh, to Madam, my Bible. I'm gonna come back to no, you. No, Jesus, said, Jesus said, Have I ye will the send. Holy Spirit? Yeah. He says give. he will send the comforter. Yes? Ma that, Mary had did Mary had the Holy Spirit? No, she didn't. She did. You know why? Please read Acts. I, I wish I'm, I wasn't prepared. To no, no, I, I, I understand today. that. Yeah. But the reason Mary then, did not have the Holy Spirit. But she the, was he, overwhelmed he's the by the Holy Spirit. Now. Yes. He yes, have so many Spirit things to say. He say he will guide when the Spirit of truth will come. He sorry. will guide so, you so, into so, so, all time. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sister. He, I, I, sorry, he brother. Is a point. Let me finish this one point. He say he will guide you into all, all truth. Sorry. He said, when the spirit of truth will come, yes. he will guide you into all truth. Okay, let me so show you where it came. Let's, let's, let me show you when it came. Acts okay, two. no, let's, Acts let's accept yes. for the yes. purpose of discussion okay. that that's the Holy Spirit. Yes. So make me one, one new thing that Jesus didn't give that the Holy yeah, Spirit yeah, gave. Yeah, one new yeah. teaching. So about, about one new teaching. Okay. One new, that the Holy Spirit gave that Jesus, that Jesus, didn't, that Jesus didn't give. Because he said, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. When the spirit of can truth I, will come, let me, let me finish. He will guide you into all truth. All means okay. more than one. Okay. So let Jesus have it. many more things to say, say but people couldn't I, bear it. He said, when he come, so give me one new I, thing. I could give you many. The, the reason, reason, the okay, reason just, why, okay, this one okay, okay. that, that Jesus why? didn't teach, okay. didn't give. When you go to the uh, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, Luke and John, John yeah. okay, if you look at the account of what they've written, if you look at the epistles, okay, you know what I mean by the epistles? The letters, the letters. The letters that were written, those were not just written by mere human being. Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? Those were the direction of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. okay? That is many, that's why I said there are many. I can stay here. You say you want one. Yeah, that Jesus didn't two. give. No, no, no. There are many things that Jesus didn't give at that particular time. Where he and, spoke and yeah, says, yeah. through Peter, and says, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. This same Jesus whom you crucified is the same Christ that he that came. Can I ask you 38? Madame, Those think... are the truths by which Christ was making sure he endowed them with the Holy Spirit. But um, I don't think you actually engage with you. I don't think you've actually engaged with the question. What he's asking, tell me, say, right, okay. I, I, I was going to hold on one second. Hold on one second. No I, I wanted to draw. I wanted. I, this is not. This is not actually shifting from the conversation, but this is actually quite relevant to the conversation, right? If we go to John chapter one verse twenty-one, this actually proves that this was talking about a prophet and not the Holy Spirit, right? It says here. And I, I just want your attention. I'm listening. Okay. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, "Who are you?" He confessed and did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. Right? Says, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, what then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you that prophet? Right? Are you that prophet? And he answered, no. <laughs> so, we got, so the question was asked, right? Are you Elijah? He said, are you the Christ? He said, no. Are you Elijah? He said, no. He said, are you that prophet? So what we have here, okay, let's continue. And he answered, no. So they said to him, 
Who are you? We need to give an answer to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. That's John, not right. Jesus. Yeah. Hold, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's John. But now, I said that's now, Jesus. No, no. No, okay, that's John. Okay. Right. So the question is here, right? Yeah. We're dealing with John chapter 16, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, the brother mentioned a very, very good point, yes. right? What did the Holy Spirit teach you that Jesus didn't teach, right? You have to bring something new that the Holy Spirit taught you that Jesus didn't teach you. That's number one. Number two, I've given you... Hold on one second. Okay, hold on one okay, second. Because okay, okay. remember, you raised a few points. So I just want to respond to them. Number two, right? Um, the, I, I pointed to the, the first the first John chapter one, where it says, beloved or dear friends, you know, test the spirits if they are of God, because there are many false prophets that have entered into the world. So we can establish from the first John that... The word prophet and spirit are synonymous words. They are synonymous. They're one in the same. And I've given you the Greek itself. I and mean, we went to the root itself. And the word that is given here is parakletos. Jesus was called a parakletos. And we know that Jesus is not a spirit. Jesus is an actual human being according to Acts chapter 2 verse 22. It says, ye men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus is a man approved by God by wonders and signs and miracles that he done amongst you that you yourself know. So we're here. We get confidence information that Jesus is a human right he's a human being God, so, yeah. so exactly so therefore the verse is very clear it is speaking about another sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. it's speaking about another human being to come after Jesus he's not speaking about a spirit according to the Muslims. no no according to Jesus' no. words no way Okay, well then, if it's the same way you've misinterpreted that. I've got so many things to say to you, but I haven't. So tell us what the Holy Spirit has taught you, Please. because remember, me. the Holy Spirit. Hold That's on one second. Okay. The Holy Spirit. It says that He will show you things to come, like prophecies, for example. He will show you things in the future to come. He will unite the people. Oops, sorry, I keep okay, sorry, sorry. I'm assaulting you. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> right. Right. I'm not so, your question, so, right. So the prophecy states that he sorry, will. Just read that scripture. Which one? Just there. Uh, what he will? No, John, you John, just read something. Uh, I read about. Um, first John. First, is it First John? That the many prophets shall come. And many false prophets will come into the world. Yeah. That one? Yeah, we've gone past that. I think. That's oh, John chapter sixteen, verse twelve. Yeah. Many people say Okay. Should we go back there? Okay. No yeah. problem. Yeah. Right, let's go back to John 16. And then you're saying to me, what has Jesus... I'm trying to get No, that. what has the Holy Spirit taught you that Jesus didn't teach you? Because remember, what we have to the, look at... Can I just get that question in my head? What has the Holy Spirit taught them... No, yeah. taught, taught you. Me, you, individually. Individually, okay. that Jesus didn't teach you. Yeah. Okay. Right? That because question is easy to answer. Right. That question is taught, is that the Holy Spirit has taught me through his apostles and his prophets. There's nothing new under the sun. But okay. what has he taught you that's new that Jesus didn't preach? No, there's nothing new under the sun because it says he was can, there's nothing new i can say to you that's away from the scripture if i want anything new then i will be uh what do they call it a anything added then i'm a uh, no not an innovator i heretic. Uh, heretic that's it i'm a heretic so everything that is new that the Holy Spirit has instructed the disciples, which he says to them, wait in the upper room. This is what I wanted to read. Can I just read this? Just to explain something. And he says, but Peter standing up, lifted up. This is after they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm sure you're all, you're all familiar with this. If you're not, are you familiar with this? Acts 2, yeah, yeah, when sure. they were all filled. Sure, yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. And how we hear every man's, okay. I, I don't want to skip. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. So that's why I'm saying, yes, the Holy Spirit was around. That's what I told but, you. But no, the no, disciple no. had the, they were all filled no, the, with no, the Holy Ghost. No, no, no. The, the, the question Spirit. that was thrown at me was, mm. the Holy Spirit was always there. So he and was. I said, I didn't say it wasn't. I didn't okay. say it wasn't. What I said was, it was there, but it wasn't in them. Yeah. It, did I say that? 
Yeah, yeah, you said I did. he wasn't in there. So, the, but wasn't what do you mean he was, he was there but not the, in there? Right. The Holy Spirit, like he was saying, it was hovering around when the creation. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God, yeah. Well, he can't. Do, anyway. So, how do you know, it, how do you know no, it wasn't just, in there? No, 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 no. Because it's here. What does it say? The Holy Spirit says, and when the deal, Christ already gave him an instruction go and wait in the upper room and wait for the promise. Do you want me to read it in chapter 1? Okay. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, that's 50 days after he ascended, they were all with one accord in one, in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began, as an evidence they began to speak in other tongues. When all the different men around them they saw, they said, how come these men are speaking in Mesopotamia, Elamites, Parthians, Cappadocian, and in Pontus? So my point is this, the Holy Spirit came on to them on the day of Pentecost. And that was, and I said that already, to empower them. Because look what then happened immediately. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying, Why to, what mean is this? What is happening? Because even people around them were amazed. Why are all these people speaking in languages they haven't learned? Then Peter, Peter, if you know Peter at the beginning, was that doubting Peter. Okay? Peter whom ran away. Peter who could not proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Sorry, how is this engaging mm -hmm. with John okay, 16? Okay, because, I'm, but I'm, Peter I'm standing, no, 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 I'm trying to prove okay. that what the Holy Spirit right. did after they received it. What did the Holy Spirit so, teach? Was, was, yeah, because no, we're talking about what is, on, but Jesus I'm, was there anyway. So. Uh, exactly, okay, okay. Yeah, well, but Peter standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, ye men of Galilee, all ye that stand on Jerusalem, be this known unto you, listen to my word. For these are not drunken men, supposing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by Prophet Joel. It shall come to pass in the last day, God says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons, your daughters, they shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions in your old men, and so on. I will show wonders in it, and so on. The point I'm raising is this. Okay, but, but the point I'm raising is this. What is One, is so, what is, so what is the point you are okay, raising? Because let me, let me, wait, 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 wait. Okay, the on, point man. I'm raising is this. The Holy Spirit, God said, I have to go and then I have to send. That is proven here. He sent the Holy Spirit. It's evidence. But why would the Holy Spirit speak on someone else's authority? Because you believe that the Holy Spirit that's is God. That's another point. No, 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 no. It's quite relevant. That's another because you, point. No, it's, it's quite you relevant. You me a point. Spirit need authority. Yeah, because remember, you believe that the Holy Spirit is part of the triune Godhead. So that's why would the Holy... Point. Why would the Holy... No, that's because it actually... Point. No, it, it, it really why it's, it's very not, relevant. It's another The reason point. why it's relevant because we are saying... Do you see my line of thought at the moment? No, I extend... My I understand you. No, my line of thought was this. We were talking about the Holy Spirit, was the Spirit was hovering anyway. But I'm saying to you, it had no relevance to the human being in empowering them to do the work that Christ says, Not you're going to do, wait, in order to, you said, no, you, you kind of, the point. You, no, 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 I'm no, not no. missing the point. He says, you, you will not, I'm not. He says, you will not understand this yet until I go away and send because he was limited here on earth. No, all you did. So that's what I was saying. That, that's one point. Okay, when, when he, so when he went, has now he went because the Holy Spirit, or whoever it is, or the Comforter, has to come after Jesus has gone. Yes. That's the condition. If he go, he will he send. send him. No, my brother, he, he she, hasn't, she hasn't answered your question. Yeah, I know. What I'm the, going what there. What the Holy Spirit Exactly. And all she's saying is okay. they've been filled by the Holy Spirit. Okay, yeah. fine. So what they what Jesus? What's okay, the you keep asking. I can't stay here to quote you Corinthians. Well, you had the chance. No, but, Timothy, yeah, but you could. Give, on. Okay, give us one thing. Hold on. Give us one, one thing, thing that the Holy Spirit teach, taught that, that Jesus, Jesus didn't Jesus teach. Exactly. Now, the thing he is, the reason, the reason the why I'm saying thing, that the okay, Spirit. Let me teach now. Let me tell you one thing. Okay, go on. The first thing he taught was this through Peter. Because the men were convicted in their heart. 
okay? Then they said, what shall we do? What shall we do? So Peter so said... So Peter speaking to who here? To the congregation around... No, we're talking about the Spirit. What has the Spirit taught? Jesus, the Spirit hasn't taught. Taught. Jesus hasn't taught. Jesus hasn't taught. No, the Spirit. The, the what has the Spirit, the Spirit taught? The you need to the understand, the question. understand the question. The, the question that's raised. We're talking about the, the Spirit of God. What, did he what has the Spirit of God taught that Jesus this didn't speak? Because what, that's part... That's, that's what, what I'm trying mean. to That tell forms you the condition... That's what I'm trying to Okay, yeah, please, please, go ahead. It says... What the Holy Spirit taught yes. through Peter is this: repent. Now, sorry, let me. Until they okay. Yeah. Now, where is the last gospel? Yeah. Repent. But that was so. This is not new. That was a No, 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 no. I didn't say that. No, no, no. Hang on, on. hang on. Thank you, Lord. Let, <laughs> no, no, no. I know that scripture. Let me explain to you. So that's something yes. Jesus taught. Then Peter said, repent. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the remission of your sins. Before it was it was baptism unto repentance. But That's Jesus John taught the that Baptist. though. No, John the Baptist taught that. No, Jesus. John the. Do you want me to refer to the Great Commission? The Great John. John the ba sorry, John no, the Baptist taught that. John Matthew twenty eight verse nineteen says, and he's right? Baptized yeah, he, well we know, we know that. But, but he was baptized. He, right, but do you know what Matthew twenty eight verse okay, nineteen can says? I just finish it and I see go the on, Holy Spirit on, says then Peter said, Repent, be baptized, every one of you in the name of the Jesus for the remission of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is unto you, to your children, to them that are far off. That wasn't taught before. That wasn't taught before. I will come next week, answer your questions in detail because there's so many more that the Jesus Christ didn't teach before. Why? Because he had limited time on earth. He passed it on through the no, Holy Spirit. But he wasn't right. The point was the people at that time couldn't bear what he has to teach. Because they hadn't received and the Holy Spirit. And he referred to the Comforter, whoever is coming. Because he said, they hadn't received when the they Holy Spirit. Through, it, because they, come. Hadn't, they can't bear and it now. And notice the verse there. Let's read the verse again. Which one? Which one? Which John one? John 16 and verse... That's, that's a hint. Can you give me the reference again? So John, John 16, 12. 16. Are you not here next week? Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Because yeah. it requires a little bit of yeah. reasoning. And it's simple, simple exercise. You know, that doesn't require a lot of, you know. Yes. Um, 16. What's the verse 12 then? I have yet many things to say unto you. Yes. But you cannot bear them now. What do you understand by that? You have many things to say so into them. I ask you, there is nothing to understand. It's quite many... clear. No, no, I just want his understanding. Yeah, I have to complete the verse, yeah. then, then he'll give you understanding. I have yet many things to say into you, but you cannot bear them now. How be, when the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. Now I can tell you what I understand by that. He's, he said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. How be when the spirit of truth will come, he will guide you into all truth. Meaning, he will give you the solution of all your problems. All truth. He will guide guidance. So what does guidance do? To show you what is right or wrong. The work, the good work. So, he will give you the solution of all your problems. Every issue, world Any issue. issue. So, so when Any issue. Okay. So, what? And then he carry on. I so, wanted to to yeah, draw your attention right about this verse because that's that's one of the mightiest verse in the whole Bible, and I will so tell you I why. Just go back to what you just said. It will guide you into all, all truth, truth about your life, about. Because he's talking about guidance here. Guidance. Of, of course, I know. Yes. I know what you yes. meant. It will guide you into all truth. truth. Okay. Yes. In order to do that, mm -hmm. he says actually read here very clearly mm -hmm. when but how be when the, the spirit of truth is come he will when he has come he when will. did he come because if that's the case if that's the case 
everybody should have the spirit of truth. No, no, no. 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 The spirit of truth yes. will guide people. Who is will guide that people. Of, who is that? He will spirit guide you truth. into all truth. <laughs> the comforter. Don't remember the context. He was talking about a comforter to be sent if he go. That's right. To give a condition. But so why is it a prophet? Why did he say it's a prophet? Why do you interpret did you not it as hear a what Hamza just mentioned? Because he give you a verse where spirit in Deuteronomy. No, 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 no. is synonymous term with yes. prophet. He yeah, just yeah, give, yeah, you, yeah. give you but a verse. But it's the wrong context. And the spirit is, is never not, referred to as a you know he. The, context. Yeah. the spirit is I never referred to as a he. The spirit is always referred as an it. Because no. the spirit, hold on. A no. spirit is wait, hold on one second. A spirit is a spirit a person. Let, yeah, let me I'll carry on. Hold on one second. Me, is a spirit a, is a spirit a person? A spirit is not an it. Right, but is it a person? It's an identity. Is it a person? Can you can you attach personhood okay. to uh, to 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 a spirit? I know I can spell I, it. I'll myself. tell you. You see the so, 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 one second, okay, one second, one second. I'm coming. One second. Okay. Can you attach Bible, okay. personhood? Can I, so, okay. Not what I do. I will go according to what the scripture says. No, no, I get that. But what I'm asking you. No, 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 no. I can't. Like I said to my sister when she started talking to me. Yeah. I cannot give you an answer by my logic. But I'm, I'm saying to you. Okay, so from me, the, okay, Holy, no Spirit, the right. Holy Spirit, the Bible says, is a comforter. It's, n it's not an identity that is separate from God himself. So why is Jesus called comforter? Why is he called the paracletos? Why, because why is Jesus... That, uh, that's why he's shown that he is God. No, 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 no. no, no. That's, that's a big... That's a, that's a big jump. Brother, hold on, sorry. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. No, hold on a second, right? Big jump. I've... Yeah, it's, a, it's, 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 like, it's, it's like jumping from, from London to Paris with that. Now, what I'm saying, right? No, no, honestly. Why is Jesus called a paracletos? Paracletos, which is the same comfort that's used in John 16, if it's referring to a spirit that you cannot see. I know why. That's the question. Please because respond to that. That's why he says, didn't he read in there, if, unless I go away, if you say he's a comforter, he says, unless I go away, I can't send him. Right. But the point I'm trying to raise here is that the word comforter, the word comforter is... Jesus used that he was a comforter. You said Jesus said Is Jesus the Holy Spirit? Well, hang on a minute. So, so, said, no, no, no. Can I ask you a question? No, you is Jesus keep, the Holy Spirit? You can't keep interrupting me like this. No, sorry. Uh, you said... Okay, okay. We all interrupt each other. We know. What I'm saying is you just said yeah. Jesus is a comforter. Jesus referred to him as a comforter. The justification of him saying, I can't say it. No, I no, 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 no. The point is not the point. You're misunderstanding. That's why. You misunderstand the point. If we go back to the language itself, the word used here is parakletos. Jesus is called parakletos, but yet he's not a spirit. He's not a spirit. He's a human being. Of course. Exactly. 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 Flesh, and he's also a divinity. Right. Was he ever a spirit on earth, Jesus? Yeah. Was he always a human? How did he? Okay. You believe that after he's after his after his crucifixion and resurrection. No, I'm talking on earth. Was he all right? That as a human being, as a human being, right. he was limited as a flesh. You're right. Right. Okay. Good. Excellent. He so therefore, come from he could sorry, my dear, he could not do what divinity do clothed in flesh. Right. So, so, so afterwards, he was able to, for example, raise the dead by God's that's permission. His that's his divinity. By the Father's permission. Okay, but, that's what Muslim believes. No, no, no. no. This is what the Bible says. Jo John chapter 5, verse 30. It says the Father is greater than him. No. no. Jesus the said in John Father... chapter 5, verse 30, I can of myself do nothing. I that's judge true. as I. I judge that's as I hear. Listen, listen to the verse. Listen to the verse. In John chapter 5, verse 30, Jesus yeah. says, I can of myself do nothing. I judge as I hear. But my judgment is honest because I'm not seeking my will, yeah. but I'm seeking the one who sent me. Yeah. So when Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead, this is not from his own works. Correct. This is from the Father. Jesus said in Acts chapter 2, verse 22, he says, Ye men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus is a man approved by God by wonders and signs and miracles that he done amongst you that you yourselves know so it's god okay. that's working through jesus jesus didn't independently rise lazarus okay, from the dead Peter, which, do, which denies which he denies his divinity i will come no problem because we've done 
from one to another. I, I, we two did. things, two things I'm going to do. Let's focus on to come next week. One is, is Jesus, Jesus' nature, divinity and human. Whether you use the complicated word, we're seeing humanity, divinity. Yeah. Okay. How he performed his divinity and his humanity. The second question, or some of the questions I also asked regarding, which I'm also going to go and study, is which the miracles is, yeah. that the Lord Jesus Christ performed in comparison to uh, Muhammad. Yeah. Plus the characteristics of Muhammad as a person yeah. in comparison to our Lord Jesus Christ. That's no problem. That's, not, That's what no we're problem. going to do next week. Next week. What so, time are you going to be here next uh, week? I'm going to try. I'm going to try this family. We will take you family. to this. We're going to, I, I'm going to come. come. I'm going to come. I want to, this is why I want to also come. I mean, I, I one against one to three, four, five, six, seven. No, That's fair no, enough. No, no, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to come. And I, and I think I've held my ground with what I do know. But what I want to know is, if I'm fixed in my, in my heart, read what you said, Please Muhammad did. You give me some references. I did. To go and look at. I'm going to come back with other sure. references that we can have a look at. No problem. Without any prejudices. No problem. Or without you not saying to me, Finish. that's the hadith. We don't agree with that hadith. That's coming from this one. We don't agree with that one. But I will try and quote it from the Quran as much as possible. Please do. And from the hadith that you are familiar with. I look forward to this discussion. Absolutely. Yeah? yeah, I'm so looking May forward to May God bless you. And you too. And we definitely will come next week. And, and thank thing. you for attracting. One more thing. <laughs> one more thing. By the way, Peter Peter actually mentioned that they're still waiting a prophet like Moses. You're reading Acts chapter 3, verse 23. Read that. So I suggest okay. you Within read. the context. Yeah, read context. it. Peter said they were still what, waiting for a prophet like Moses. Yes. That, really in Acts chapter 3, verse 23. But please, when you do read the Bible, I'll call you my sisters and brothers, even though you lot don't categorize us as sisters and brothers, because there are certain things that the Muslims categorize as Christians and the Jews. According to Quran, we're your enemies. No, okay. No, no, I will no, come. No, I will no, come. No, no, no. no not listen, according no, to you. Sister. Listen, listen. listen. If we were your enemies, I will, I will come to with the Quran. No, 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 no. Listen, if you're I'm true, sorry, listen. Sorry. No, 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 no. Speak. Thank you. I will come with the directive from Quran how they see us. Okay. Right? And how they see other people. All right. Now you might not believe that. I'm not saying you do, but when you're reading Quran and when you're reading certain hadiths that you believe in, there are certain things that are very clear regarding where Muslims' position stands. I call you my brothers and sisters. Why? We're all made in the same image of God. At the end of the day, but certain religions in the Quran and in the hadith, I will come with it, but I won't add to what I'm already going to go and study. Sure. So as a result, the point I'm making is this, you lot don't believe in that. Believe but in what? In the fact that me as a as an unbeliever, me as an uh what's that? You're not an unbeliever. I am, well if I, anybody who's not I don't wanna you know quote the term, when and use the term we use for the Christian in the Jew. A beautiful term. Yeah, the Ahlan Kitab. People of the book. People of the book. And we say right, that's the people of the book. That's one. That you, you said enemy. We are. I, I will no, no, use. No, no, I will. I will. No, I will quote it from Quran. You are, you are, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not quoting it from. I didn't say. I, I haven't used it. You cannot any. be Muslim if you, if you don't believe in I will. Yeah. I will. No, 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 no. But there are certain commands. There's certain things such that, as. such as that I've said to you already. We Christian and Jews, I know you're saying it in a very friendly way. I will come with it next week. Well, that Islam, because you, because you have to show us. Yes. Where in the Quran he yes. speaks about us being your enemies, us I will being do. violent towards I you. I will do. And that will be. Good. I will do. And, what you and are you going to be willing to accept it if I show you? Yeah, I am context. more than yeah, exactly. What the context? context? And we're also, asking, be fair. <laughs> no, I will Whenever be fair. Whenever we talk about the context, <laughs> yeah, now we just want to use the top context. Yeah, yeah, you just want to be fair. Because you got to read the context. Because okay, what you need to understand, what you need to understand, what you need to understand, what you need to understand is that yeah. we have. In all have, fairness, yeah. I, in all fairness, I would look at it and I would look at it within the context first. What has happened before and what they said um, regarding Jews and Christians. Yeah. 
and the views of Quran and the Hadiths. That's what I'm going to do because I, I'm asking you for, within the context. I expect the same. Me personally, the Quran is enough because everything is there. Everything. I will go from the Quran. Okay, but but madam, but one if thing, I one show thing, you that, one thing please, you need to understand. Um, we have we have we have we have tafsirs. Right? We have tafsirs, which is the interpretation of the Quran. Right. So because we believe that. The, the Quran itself was revealed over a period of 20, 23 or 24, 23 years, right? Now, we do not quote the Quran in completely in isolation. We have the Sunnah and we have the Tafsirs. The Tafsir means the interpretation of the Quran. So the verses that you are going to raise, you have to raise it with the understanding of how the Prophet and his companions understood it. This is very important. I would this, do. So if I you are going to raise best. these verses, baby, if you're going to raise these verses, next week and I look forward to this discussion Same here you need to also bring what the companions understood how they understood these verses right and I will and I, and I, and I, and I you really want you to do that so I if you do. could do that next week I will that, do. The, that the companions also had the understanding that we should be enemies but you see the Muslim, problem with that, that is that fantastic. there's so many interpreters where it comes to the uh, Quran and so many hadiths Five of you are standing here now. You say I don't agree with that, Hadid. No, 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 have any ambiguity to, to of, of its revelation and its in, in its meaning however with hadith there are some hadith that are graded as weak there are some hadith that are graded as hasan which means good there are some hadith that are considered as fabricated so if you have a big task in your hand because if you're going to bring hold on, hold on, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. what i'm saying if, if you're going to bring hadith you have to cite the Isnad. The Isnad means the chain of narrators. And that's a task in itself. I'm not so going to, I'm hoping that next week that if you do raise certain verses of yeah. the Quran yeah. that are like that says that we should be your enemy and that yes. we should kill all the rest of it, right? You have to cite the tafsirs, what yeah. the previous scholars have said about the I'm verses. just going by Quran, you said. No, no, see, there's, there's, I'm just going see, by Madam, Quran. You need to understand there's a method. You but need to you follow see, that method. The, okay, this is why if I find Quran very complicated and very confusing. Scripture, we don't need interpreters. That's a problem. That's the reason hang on, why. Hang on, hang on, hang That's hang the on reason minute. why so many hang Christians have interpreted it 100 ways. Okay, can I ways. finish my comment? Yes, but I don't agree with you. Well, you, you're entitled to your disagree. Thank you. Okay. That's why we don't. We can agree to disagree. Exactly, exactly. The the day, they, they exactly. Yeah. We can agree to disagree, right? right? What I'm saying is, we're Christian. We don't have hadith this, this, that, this, that, this, that. Of course, that's why the Holy, the Bible tells us, yeah. when you receive the Holy Spirit, <laughs> He will guide you into <laughs> all <laughs> truth. That is our highest authority. That's our, that's our highest authority. We don't need any other hadiths, any other. Yes, I agree with you. Yes, I agree. Let me finish and I'm going to finish this. Yes, I do agree with you. I know. Yes, I do agree with you. There are many Christians who we have different interpretations that you have the Catholic. So would you say the Holy on, Spirit is on, guiding them into these interpretations? If it's not in line with the scriptures, like the Catholics now, they will say, they're the same believers they do, where they believe in Hail Mary, you've got to say Hail Mary several times. It's not scriptural. Wait, but is the Holy Number Spirit two, guiding can them I, though? Can I finish? Okay. Can I finish? No, Spirit they claim. Them. That's your key word. Yeah, no, no. They don't, them, listen, 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 listen. If a Catholic and me are discussing right now, we will be debating. Because I will say, okay, where does the scripture say I've got to say Hail Mary X amount of time? Number two, why do I have to go through the priest? in order to confess to the priest. Okay. So I would even challenge a Roman Catholic, an Orthodox Greek, you, you Greek. Huh? I'm just a follower of Christ, based on the scriptures. 
I don't give myself a name. Anybody who comes as a Christian and they, they can open the scriptures to me and explain it to me, a court, because the Bible says, He will give you the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit will guide you. Now, this is how we know that. This is how we know what in your term. No, I give you the in your term. I give you the language. In your term. And you're not what te- no, so, not at well. We agree to disagree, but that's your term. The Bible says, I want you to be one as I am one. There's no way Christ had 12 disciples, sent them out to proclaim the gospel, for them one to be a Catholic, one to be a Methodist. Want to be a Baptist? Yeah, Want to be this? Exactly. This is why now. I haven't proved anything. No, I haven't proved anything. Yeah, what I've proved. Up, you do need interpretation. No, no. no. What you do need. And what you were going to disperse into the No. Holy what you exactly do what need. Guys. No. What you do need is that no, the Holy Spirit is not an author of confusion. The Holy Spirit will not confuse, and because that's God Himself. He was not the author of confusion. Whatever I'm saying, he will match with another person who's received the Holy Spirit, unless they have a spirit of error. That's what the Bible calls it. They have a spirit of error, yes. But what I'm saying right now is this, right? As a Christian and as a child of God, when, that's why I say, I don't say I'm a Pentecostal, I'm a, no. Okay, okay, go on. That's why when God says, I want you to be one, as we are one, by this shall all men know that you're my disciple. It's a category. I cannot. So what's that got to do with what we, what we just said? No, that what that's like, got to. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah by interpretation. Yeah, you, you get me. What yeah, I mean is that no, in, ter- in terms of interpretation. Yeah. You just say you the don't interp- need. You, don't need. You, you have need the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit, and you do have people who dedicate themselves to study. Apparently, and apparently, also, like the John Holy the Spirit Baptist, guy, not Christians, not Christians. Please don't you, don't confuse us. It's not the word Christian is too widely used and it's too widely confused. But madam, how does that? How the does whole, what you're the, saying the Christian, comport Christian, to what we were talking about? Yeah. Okay, let you, me because you lost it. The born again, you really really lost okay. about the born the again. Yes. You know, Therefore, the uh, okay. If Christ comes back again, the, when Christ comes back again, he has a category. He has a category he's coming back for his own. He calls it his own. If he has his own, he's got a criteria for his own. Yeah, but you know who is all. But all of us here, listen. All of us is here can be told where his own. But Christ is. He knows his sheep. Yeah, but we're not saying, but we never, and the sheep yeah, but we never hears his Jesus. voice. No, 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 I know, I know, my brother. But that's what we're saying now. As a Christian, as a child of God, there are many people who say Christians under the umbrella of Christians. But Christ didn't have that title <laughs> as an umbrella. He says, My sheep will know my voice and they will hear me. Okay, but you know what, sister, sister, I, I want to say something to you. Yeah. You know, most I, 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 I understand. <laughs> I understand where you're coming from, but obviously, there's another point that we need to raise. Maybe next week when you come. Yes. We need to talk about the divinity of Christ. We will. Right. How is Jesus God? Where did he say he was God in the New Testament? Because I would love, I would love for you to show me where Jesus said he was God. I want you to show me with those okay, direct... One of them, what? one of them, he say, one of them says, wait a minute, one of them, says, one of them, wait, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, sure. I am the Alpha and the Omega, which is who's supposed to come the Almighty God, say not. I am the first, I am the last, I am he that was alive and was killed. Okay. I'm alive forever more. That's a dream. Right. Thanks for that <laughs> No, 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 that's a quotation. Now, that, that is no. a quotation. No, no, no. That's that a dream. A How could he take dreams seriously? Okay. So, no, so, no, no, where, so where did Jesus say, where did Jesus say, we'll, we'll do it next week. We'll do it. Yeah. We'll do it. If you can show me, yeah. right? If you can show me where Jesus says, I am God, with those exact same words, no, I will relinquish on. my no, faith. No, no, no. My brother, I will relinquish my faith. Brother, now, Hamza, show you know what we need to do? We need to come to a common agreement with them. Who is God? Absolutely. What, are, what is we'll his qualities and attributes? Yeah, you're, you're, you're giving a criteria. Unless I say, yeah. all right, so unless Muhammad says, 
Da, 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 da. No, let's no, no, come on. Sister, let's forget about, let's forget about Islam no, no, and Christianity because, right now. The reason why I'm asking this question, the reason why I'm asking this question, because you yeah. believe that as a doctrine, the doctrine of faith. Okay, so we'll come next week. Next week we'll okay, discuss that. We'll do so. But as a, when you say Christians, brothers and sisters, I'm calling you because according again, I will bring the script to that and say that you're not calling us brothers and sisters because we're Christians. But as, as as one in the Lord, as a Creator created all as one being, what I want you to understand is this: we are coming next week to show you that as Christians, we're not all under the same umbrella. But not all under the same umbrella. When you see many Christians here talk about Christianity, first of all, let them go according to this. I agree. Sorry, you. you know what I mean by Bible. Yes. Yeah. If they're quoting, if they're mentioning, if they're logically, your gun, dear, scientific, <laughs> let them go. I thought it was your gun here. Scripture. So I just want to ask you: Does Jesus ever in the New Testament <laughs> claim that he is God? No. In the New Te in the New Old Testament, we will, we will say what Jesus. It's very difficult. The Bible says, the Bible says in First John one, in the beginning was the Word. In the beginning of what? This is why I read my sister here. He's clear. He said, "Where Jesus? Where did Jesus say he is God? We will look at it. No, 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 no. There you go. He never said I'm not God. He never said that. I'm not God. He never said. He said I'm God. But you know, all right. There are scriptures you can know because in the Bible, no, the Jews said the Uah, the Jews Uah thou. Jesus said the same I say unto you. I am from the beginning. No, for that scripture, he said, I am from the beginning. The beginning God took over the earth. No, Hamza, you, not no, only that, not only that, in, 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 in Luke, in Luke chapter 10, Jesus says, I, just behead Satan as light is falling from heaven. That's what we made Adam and Eve, the angelic horse. He was the God was there. No, I wish Jesus was a prophet. No prophet ever spoke like Jesus. I'm telling you, something. But Jesus says, I behead Satan as light is falling from heaven. Sorry, and next week, what we will do, we will discuss, like, what, what? Who is God? Who is God? That's spirit. What, what, that's the most important question. And what? He, what are his attributes? What are God's attributes? And we will see if Jesus. Yeah, and we will see if Jesus fulfilled those attributes of God. Absolutely. Fair. If Jesus fulfilled those attributes. That's what we do. That's that's the most important thing. Because I don't need the Bible. I don't need the Quran well, to know. No, from our own. No, no, from our own universal knowledge. We know that God. Is, no, we know that God is all powerful. Do you agree with that? No, 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 no. do you agree with that? God is all powerful. What? Powerful? No, 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 no. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Sorry, sorry, brother. One second, one second, brother. One second. Brother. We can agree that God is all powerful, correct? I've been through this. No, no, no. Can we I've agree? Been through this. No, do you agree God is all powerful? The part I'm not going Jesus to discuss. Christ so God can be weak. No, no, no. I've gone through all this. No, no, no. No, let's come to common agreement. That's the most important. No, no, no. God, by definition, is all powerful, correct? You know from your natural inclination. You can't attribute God with weakness. You know that. Say that again. From your based upon your natural inclination, yeah. when you attribute to the creator, you can't attribute to the creator with weaknesses, correct? I don't perfect. what you mean. Right. God is all powerful. Do you agree with that? God is all knowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah? What does all knowing mean? He knows everything. He knows everything. Yeah. So he can't be ignorant at anything, correct? Yeah. Okay, correct. Yeah. Now, if we meet this, so if Jesus is God, if Jesus is all knowing, yeah. he should know everything, correct? Yeah. But when you go to the Bible, yeah. in Mark chapter 13, verse 32, right. Jesus didn't know the hour. So by the criteria, no, he's not God. It's still a question you need to address. He's not God. Let's address it That's simple. What the context again, you've, what you've done is you've taken a line. You've taken a line. I can it's take a Hang on. Of course it's in the Bible. My sister, my sister, from the, my sister, doesn't Jesus say he doesn't know the hour? Oh, she got your God for this. And it's humanity. Yeah, yeah, my sister, humanity. come on, let's, no, no, no. let's get Wait, to the brother, crux. Brother, let's get to the crux of the issue. What they're doing. You're very good at. No, we come to an agreement. God is all knowing. So Hang let's see on. if Jesus meets the criteria. Is Jesus all knowing? The context is going to last us another. How My sister, what is, you, what is the context you tell okay. us? After I can't us. go into it now. You know, and this is not shine away. No, do you agree? Jesus does not the hour. I am not shine. Yes or no? I am not going to go into it. No, now. just say yes or no, and the next week, then we'll know. No, that, that you're putting me in a. a okay, then come next week and tell Absolutely. us why J J Jesus knows the hour. Okay, you tell me. Didn't know the hour. You said. Didn't, you didn't know. The didn't hour. know. Yeah. No, 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 no. She's saying no, no. I'm saying God by definition is all knowing. 
Oh, what did I say? All knowing. You yeah. you said that no, there's a context behind it. So I want to know. No, I didn't say that. So you admit that Jesus is not all knowing. I didn't say that. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is, I'm going to discuss. You're trying to ask me if Jesus is God. No, That's I'm, what you're no, doing. I'm asking you by our common agreement that God is all-knowing, correct? Yes. That's okay, that means he cannot be ignorant at anything. Yes. Yeah, he knows every right, detail. Right. So, in the Bible, yeah. doesn't Jesus say that he doesn't know the hour, only the Father knows the hour? He said that very right. clearly. So, does that mean Jesus is all-knowing? If he's God, he should be all-knowing, correct? So, in that, so again, you've quoted some things in the context that is not... Please elaborate. We'll do context. that next week. Okay, no problem. Next yeah, week. we'll do that next week. Take care.